In this video, I'm going to install a custom kernel on my X10 Mini Pro. I've uh, just recently unlocked the bootloader, so it's ready to go. And um, I'm going to use the um, NAA kernel, which uh, is a very nice, fairly recent kernel, which is available for the X10 Mini Pro, which uh, can be used with Mini CM7. Right, so first of all, get yourself a copy of Flash Tool from the Flash Tool website. Um, and uh, if you probably if you've unlocked your bootloader, you've probably got it installed already. But anyway, it's, uh, it's linked from the Mini CM thread. So install the Windows version if you're running Windows, like I am, and uh, install it. Once you've installed it, install the drivers in the drivers folder, and um, download the kernel. So I've uh, gone to where have I gone to? I've gone to the kernel thread and downloaded the uh, download from there. So I'll show it in, fold, in the folder and I'm going to copy that and move it into the flash tool folder and there's a folder inside flash tools called firmwares. So I'm going to paste the firmware there. You can see that I've also got another file there. That's a stock kernel. I just put that in there to keep it handy so that if I ever need to revert back to stock I've got that ready there. So there's my um, NAA kernel ready to uh, be flashed onto the device. So next the next thing to do is to open Flash Tool. And once that's opened, it will present you with the standard Flash Tool window. The first button in the toolbar is the Flash button, so just click that. And it goes into Flash Mode, which is correct for this device. Um, select OK, and it looks into the Flash Tool Firmware's folder to display the available kernel. So I'm going to choose the NAA kernel there. Um, and select both the files and um, click OK. So once it's done that, it will pop up the little usual dialog box telling you to unplug the device, power it off, press and hold the back back button, uh, and then plug in the USB cable. So here's my device. I need to press and hold the back button. I'm going to connect the USB cable. There we go. When it's in properly, the LED will light up, and then flash tool can carry on flashing the loader and there we go it's basically done its thing already and then um, that's it so basically the phone's rebooted as you heard the device is reconnecting um, and we can see in these lines here that it's given us a bit of info it's saying it's flashed the kernel it's finished flashing and it's restarted it so back over here just to give you a little bit of a of absolute confirmation that it's, it's taken nicely, we're going to um, go over to the device and to turn it on. And now, instead of the usual Sony Ericsson logo, we'll be presented with the NA Kernel logo, which is fantastic. Now. Just to show you that this also has a clockwork mod based recovery included within the kernel, which is just super. So that means you can um, do all your uh, flashing and backing up and wiping and everything that you might need to do all directly from within the kernel's clockwork mod based recovery. No need to you know, install a recovery through the stock firmware. So there we go. Hope that's been useful. A nice simple procedure. And uh, all ready to install the firmware.